Hey Scorpio, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And these are your deep tarot thoughts for the next two weeks, right? This should take us through the middle of July. Um, maybe a little bit longer, depends on how long it takes you as an individual to process these energies, right? It'll clear up faster for some than it will for others. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart and the darkest recesses of the cracks and crevices, this reading may very well resonate with you. Okay? All right. Do not make a personal life-altering decision based on a general tarot card reading. They are for guidance only, and you might even could say they're for entertainment purposes only when it comes to making decisions, right? If you would like a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation, 50 bucks will hook it up by clinking, clicking the link in the box below. However, this is only until August 1st. Those of you who um, are regulars on my channel know that I give $50 tarot card readings to my YouTube subscribers. Um, this is stopping though. If you're new to the channel, you might want to pay attention to this as well. Um, due to just a massive influx, a massive influx of people from the radio show that I'm doing. If you don't know, yes, I'm doing a radio show. It has, uh, the radio show has drove a lot of traffic to my website and I'm getting a lot of reading requests. However, I advertise my YouTube channel on the radio show and people are going from the radio show to the YouTube channel and they're going to my website and seeing $100 readings and then they're checking out my videos on YouTube and seeing $50 readings and they're scheduling the $50 readings but they're not holding up their end of the bargain and subscribing to the channel. Channel, not out of maliciousness or anything like that. They're just not YouTubers and they don't understand the significance of subscribers on a creator's YouTube channel. So to eliminate the confusion and to make my life much easier, uh, everybody's just going to say pay the same price from now on. From August 1st onward, Readings will be $75 here on YouTube, as does the general public pay $75 for their first reading on my website. So you guys get $75 all the time. They're going to get $75 for their first reading. So that being said, if you are my client now or you become my client before August 1st, you will forever and always be locked in to $50 readings. Forever and always, it will never, ever change. After August 1st, I will send all y'all all y'all a um a special link where you can sign in and schedule your readings just like you do now and still get the 50 dollars pricing so if you've ever thought about getting a reading from me but you have not yet you may want to do it before august 1st okay all right lock yourself into that vip program all right you guys so uh, deepthoughtswithana.com link in the box below let's get into this reading scorpio Scorpio, Scorpio. I have such a sweet spot for Scorpios. Y'all are so misunderstood. Okay. All right. So we start out this reading with the Princess of Swords. This is you having something to say. You're formulating your thoughts, though. You're not quite letting loose with it just yet, right? So you're formulating something. You have something to say. The Princess of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. This talks about... Um, um, a lack of progress, right? A lack of progress, a lack of, a lack of planning, right? Because somebody left you out in the cold, Scorpio. I mean, it could be vice versa, but I'm reading this like I see it. If it fits in a different direction, by all means, please put it there. But this is a general reading and I'm going to read it like I call it. I'm going to call it like I see it. Okay. Okay, so there is a lack of planning. Somebody very abruptly left your life, just very abruptly left you out in the cold, right? The Six of Swords says that this, is a, this was a regretful but necessary transition, right? From their perspective, it was a regretful but necessary transition. This whole leaving you out on the, in the cold thing without any, any planning, right, just surprised you. Um, put you into the hermit mode, right? And in this hermit mode, seeking soul searching, seeking inner guidance and wisdom, right? In this hermit mode, what you're contemplating is this abrupt exit from the situation. This abrupt exit from the situation, a transition 
to the nine of wands, um, a transition that really kind of racked you. It really did. It racked your mind, right? You're just a little, whew, a little worn out, right? It was a, it was a stressful situation and, and you just, you just, you just kind of taken aback by it all right? This nine of wands is about being on edge, right? So, so you just, it just took you by surprise. Four of wands comes in and says that there was a breakdown in communication that caused this transition, that caused somebody to transition out of your life and leave you out in the cold. Okay. There has been in this hermit energy, some absolute crystal clear mental clarity that you've come to. You've had a breakthrough. You've had a breakthrough about why things ended the way that they ended. You've had a breakthrough. Whatever that is for you, I don't know, but you've had some mental clarity about why things ended the way that they ended. The King of Pentacles comes in and tells me that, what does this King of Pentacles tell me? This King of Pentacles tells me that this is the person that you're dealing with. This King of Pentacles right here, male, female, doesn't matter. It's the energy, right? This energy of the King of Pentacles is, um, could be an earth sign you're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the card of Taurus. It could be a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. I could give a shit what the sign is that you're dealing with. However, this person that you are dealing with has an air of security and control and power, right? They're very, very grounded. They're very, very um, decisive. Maybe they can be a little controlling and domineering at times, but nevertheless, this is the energy that you're dealing with right here. So your, your mental clarity about why things ended with this King of Pentacles character right here is prompting you to move forward with the Knight of Wands. It's prompting you to deliver some passionate messages, right? And I'm not talking about sex. Get your mind out the gutter, right? I can deliver passionate messages when I'm mad, just like I can when I'm hot and heavy, okay? So don't know what the context of these messages are, but you are going to reach out with some communication that has the energy of, of passion and action, right? This, this message, this information that you want to deliver has to do with teamwork and collaboration because now you realize why things ended. Now you understand what the breakdown in communication was and why this person left you out in the cold. Nine of Pentacles in the center of your reading talks about a culmination to the situation because where you thought there was betrayal, a deception, and just shady behavior in general, you now are breaking free of those mental challenges. Hence, understanding why things came to an end, understanding what the breakdown in communication was, the missing link, Scorpio, you finally got it, the missing link. This leads you to the Queen of Cups, which is your feelings, to the Seven of Wands, a challenge. You are challenged in your feelings, right? But now that we have clarifying cards, we understand that you're challenged in your feelings. But now that you have this breakthrough and you're breaking free of the mental challenges associated with this situation, a culmination to the entire thing, you are no longer challenged in your emotions because now you are seeking balance and prioritization of this subject matter in your life and seeking some justice, right? Again, there has been truth that has been spoken in yourself about the situation and you're about to make good what was wrong, okay? Come down here to the Two of Pentacles. Can y'all see all this? come down here to the two of pentacles. This two of pentacles, again, is about balance and prioritization. A little bit of adaptability too, because now you know what the problem is, right? Balance, prioritization. To, to what? To the queen of pentacles, right? Ironically or not, placed directly under this king of pentacles, who is the person you're dealing with. You are dealing with some kind of 
of a character that resembles the personality traits of a queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, earthy kind of person, right? So balance and prioritization, adaptability in regards to this situation with this person that you're dealing with. The chariot comes in and says, you're going to take some action. You're going to take some action to reconcile this issue with this person. You're going to reconcile it. This person is now showing up as the queen of wands, right? So then this tells me that this is somebody that you have passion for, right? Somebody that you have passion for. This also represents your determination to right a wrong. Queen of Swords comes in. This Queen of Swords is you executing, executing these messages, the correction of this situation. You are executing a correction of this situation because now you know where the communication breakdown is. Now you know why things ended. You're breaking free of what you thought was betrayal and deception because now you have crystal clear uh, mental clarity about what the hell's going on here. Queen of Swords, this is you about to execute. What you going to execute, Scorp? What you going to execute? Well, a little bit of a backstory here, a little bit. So you have paused, you have surrendered, processed, and you've come out on the other side with a new perspective, right? Your new perspective is what the fuck went wrong. The conflict with the Five of Wands is no longer an issue right? There is no longer, you are no longer conflicted, right? Because now you know what the root of the problem is. And you're taking what was conflict and you're turning that energy into an increased focus on your goals, right? Strength comes in and says that, that, that this whole situation right here, you had to really be strong through it because I think it took you by surprise, I don't think that you expected this person to just like, like, like turn around and spin on their heels and, and leave. You were like, what, what, wait, wait, what, what? Right? So it hasn't been easy for you. Five of cups. When this person walked away from you, there was a sense of loss and regret and disappointment, right? Maybe even some despair and bereavement, depending upon your situation. This was a huge tower moment for you, Scorpio. A huge tower moment for you that created a, a sense of, of, of loss, right? A sense of loss, a sense of failure, and a sense of loneliness. Three of Wands comes in and says, but you know what? Now you're preparing because you've got it all figured out now. You are preparing to move forward with hope, faith, purpose, and renewal for this situation. This looks like an apology to me. If not an apology from Scorpio to whomever this Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles person is. If it's not an apology, it's definitely a meeting of the minds because there is a huge miscommunication here, a huge miscommunication, a huge misunderstanding. And um, you have come to the conclusion that you know what the root of the problem is and you are going to right the wrong, Scorpio. Absolutely going to right the wrong. I should have did this at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to do it now. Let's see what the overall energy for the next two weeks for you is, Scorpio. Nine. Nine is the number of fruition, attainment. It brings things to a conclusion, right? It's a completion, a fulfillment, right? And that's exactly what you're doing here. This whole situation is being brought to a conclusion, it is, it is a completion and a fulfillment of something that went very, very wrong, but now you're going to make it very, very right. So nine is your number for the week. If you see it coming around, know that you're on the right track and you're, you're headed down the right path, Scorpio. All right. That was your first of the month through the mid month, um, tarot card reading for the general sign of Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can click the link in the box below. And remember, August 1st is the cutoff. So if you would like to be a client and be on the $50 list forever and always, you should definitely schedule a reading before 
um, August 1st and my calendar fills up pretty quick. So if you want to schedule a reading, you better do it pretty quick because by the time these all, all these videos come out, my schedule will be completely full by the end of the month. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Scorps and namaste.